Hello, how are you doing today? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. All the shots that you saw on the intro were made with this small camera. It is the Feiyu Pocket from the company Feiyu Tech. They sent me this unit to test it out, but they have no say on this video and everything that I say here is my own opinion after testing this out for a few weeks. The Feiyu Pocket is this small device that has a small gimbal with a camera at the top of the main body. As you can see, it is very small it is lightweight at only 115 grams. Inside the box, we only get the camera, a wrist strap, a USB-C cable, and a hard plastic case, which has this rubber band that helps secure the pocket inside the case. The rubber band is simple, but very effective. On the other side, we have a hole so we can charge the Feiyu pocket when we have the device on the case. Something I don't like about the case is this over here. The power button sticks out a little bit out of the device, the rubber band doesn't cover it completely, and there were a few times where I pressed the button by accident. And you want to avoid that. The build quality of the Feiyu Pocket is good, it doesn't feel cheap, it is not waterproof, and on the main body, we have a battery that will run for about 4 hours. At the bottom, we have a quarter inch thread hole for tripods, and on the left side, there is a USB-C port. Yes. It is to charge the device, but you can also connect it to your computer to transfer the files or to use the pocket as a webcam. I was surprised of how easy it was to set up. It was plug and play. I opened Discord and Skype and it was right there. No complications. I like the fact that it has just a few buttons. It makes this a device that is easier to use for just about anyone. On the right side, we have the power button and on the front, we get the M button to change the gimbal modes and the record button. To start making a video, you can go from right to left. Just power on, select the gimbal mode if you need to, and then hit record. I don't think it gets any easier than that. The three basic modes are pan mode, which locks the tilt, follow mode, which unlocks the tilt, and all follow mode, which basically is a POV mode. With the buttons, we can quickly lock all the axes, recenter the gimbal, turn the camera around for selfie mode, turn on the Wi Fi, and change to video mode, photo mode, or slow motion. The Feiyu Pocket has a big 1.3 inches touchscreen where you can access the settings, shortcuts, review your videos or pictures, and also change the camera mode. For camera modes, we have photo mode, video mode, slow motion and panorama shots, which can be set to 2x2, 3x3 and 180 degrees. We also have time lapse, motion lapse and hyperlapse up to 4K. And for regular videos, it supports 4K up to 60 frames per second and 1080p up to 120 frames per second. If you want to change more settings, you can switch the Feiyu Pocket to Pro mode and there you can select the white balance, the ISO, and the shutter speed. On this mode, you can also select a flat color profile, and for pictures, you can select to shoot in RAW. This camera has a hybrid stabilization that combines the mechanical gimbal with an electronic one that is done inside the camera. Those two combined makes the Feiyu Pocket very stable. Something else that I like about this is that you can connect it to your smartphone. You don't need to use any plugs or cables and you don't need any special attachments. All you need to do is download the Feiyu app, 
and it connects via Wi-Fi. And you can use this as a big monitor and as a remote control. Inside the app, you can change the settings. It has a joystick so you can point whatever you want. And it also has this motion sensor remote control. Here on the app, you can also review your videos or pictures. You can download them to your smartphone or share them with other people. Something that you need to know is that before you download them, you are looking at a preview, so it will be low quality. But once that you download it, it will play just fine. The Feiji Pocket has face and object tracking. If you go out of the frame and then back in, it will keep tracking you and the tracking works quite good. After using the Feiji Pocket for a few weeks, these are the things that I like about it. First, the size and the weight. There is no need to buy anything else to screw a tripod or to connect this to the smartphone. Battery life is good considering the small size of the Pocket. The controls are straightforward and easy to use. You can use this as a webcam with no complicated setups. And last but not least, I do like the $229 price tag. I also have a few things that I don't like about this. For example, finding ND filters is not easy at all. The camera has two internal microphones, but you can't connect an external one. On video mode, the microphone will pick up some of the gimbal noises if you're in a very quiet environment like this. And the last thing is that although the video quality is good, it is not very sharp, but you need to keep in mind that this is an entry-level camera and it doesn't have a big sensor. I would recommend this if you're looking for a nice, budget-friendly and easy-to-use camera with good stabilization. This is a device that has a lot of potential as it is, and I really hope that Feiyu Tech is willing to make improvements on a future version. If you have any questions or want to say hi, use the comments down below. Help me out by giving this video a like, subscribe if you want to, so I can see you in the next one. Bye.